Welcome back. Anita is checking out a cool pandemic approved art experience at ASU. I mean, I say this with a question mark at the end because I, I have no idea what we're going to look at. It looks impressive. So this is this is design space and they ask when you roll in, there's a big sign there. You turn off your headlights, you open your windows, you stay in your vehicle and then you experience something very magical. You do indeed. Hi, Anita. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Thanks for coming out. So design space is sort of the notion of imagine if they would let you drive your car through the Phoenix Art Museum. Not something I'd suggest, but we want to give guests that sense that they're driving through an immersive, interpretive, modern art experience that's interactive, full of color and full of exciting, dynamic things to see. And, and you're giving them that opportunity, especially given since uh, they haven't been able to go to museums, things have been closed. But there's also another reason for this. You have art students here wrapping up their school year, and, and typically they would have a space to uh, display their work, and, and they don't have that right now. Anita, you, you're absolutely right. It's such a difficult time for all of us living in this pandemic world. But for students who are used to working in visual arts, design and production, theater studies, they're living in a totally virtual world. So what we wanted to do was work with industry professionals and outside companies and providers to give them the experience of a real hands-on production. So who created all this? Who designed it? Well, it's kind of a team. It's like, you know, it, it takes a village. So it was some people from my company, Lightswitch, some other outside visual artists, and a lot of really talented students from ASU uh, who have brought their skills to bear and realize their dreams and their visions for the project. Take us through the concept. When we drive through, how long does it take? What do we see? I mean, we're seeing uh, LED boards, but now we're seeing um, basically uh, almost like, uh, what would you, how would you even describe Yeah, this is sort of like a deconstructed right. LED screen. So they're kind of like reeds made out of light, if you will. Okay. Um, so there's a whole number of different experiences, each one of which is designed to explore the notion of space. The space between us as humans and the space above us as mankind continues our exploration of the universe around us. So just like in a museum, there's all kinds of different experiences in ETA. We try to make sure there's something for guests of all ages, from the very young to the very old. We're looking at video um, that was taken yesterday evening, so the experience is very different when it's dark in here. It is indeed. Yeah, we obviously, we're working in visual medium, so, so darkness is kind of our baseline, and that's the canvas from which we then start to paint upon. All right, awesome. So we're back, you guys, at the end of the show. We're going to head up to the roof. Is that what Absolutely, I was told? Absolutely, yes. Let's we're gonna, take a trip to the roof. We're going to take a trip to the roof. We'll meet you there at about 9.55. Wow, so cool. You can Welcome back. Anita is checking out a cool pandemic approved experience, you could call it. It's outdoors. And Anita, are you on the roof now? Look at you with your hat. You're so cute. We're on the roof, and, and you won't need a sun hat when you come out because <laughs> really, ideally, the best time to be here is at night. It is indeed, yes. So on the roof, what you're seeing here is one of the student-created pieces. So the idea here, Anita, is as you drive through, your car is scanned, and then your car is turned into stars, and then you drift mm -hmm. out into the universe through this black hole. All like, the like we direct our thoughts and our feelings into Exactly, the right? Come up onto the roof and just let it all go, right? At this time, <laughs> we all need that right now. We do need that right now. We all now. need it. Yeah, so that's part of what we want to do here as well, Anita, is give people somewhere where they can come and have fun and remember what it's like to be out and enjoy an experience. So. But you need that art, uh, that outlet. You need 100%. the arts because that's that's one thing that was shut down when COVID hit. Uh, theater, art museums, uh, artists didn't have a place to display their right, pieces. Right, exactly. And as exactly. students, you really, you know, you're just starting out. You need that experience. Absolutely, and you want to see people come and react to your experience. So that's yes. what we want to do here. We want people to come mm -hmm. to get tickets. They can go to the ASU Gamage website, asugamage.com. Mm -hmm. You can pick the time you want to come. The experience is open Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday evenings for the next three weeks. It's $40 per vehicle. It is, but it's per car. So as many people as you can get in your right. car. So if you get four people in your car, it's 10 bucks a head. If you right. get seven people in, it's even less. And maybe a little bit of candlelight, some wine inside. Uh, if you're, you're not driving, if you're, language, you if you're not driving, <laughs> exactly. make an experience or a picnic. A exactly. Picnic to go as One well. designated driver right. and then a bunch of other people having a really good time. Fantastic. Kind of our goal. How long did it take you guys? Because we're now on the roof, which is the sixth floor, and every single floor that we drove through has a beautiful display. How long did it take you guys to put this together? Uh, it's taken about two weeks to do the physical installation, Anita. We've been working on the project with designers and students from ASU for a couple of months. 
chance to make sure that their ideas are part of the DNA of the experience. And well. you know what? Even when COVID's over and we can go back to the old school way of viewing art, I think you keep something like this. I would hope so. We the, think, you know, if we haven't learned something from this, that would be really sad, right? Yeah. So to go through all of this and not learn anything. So I think what we're doing is human ingenuity is finding new ways mm -hmm. to experience things, new ways to experience art, new ways to share our creativity. Your company, an essential uh, part of this, but being at the level you are, how proud are you watching the younger, the artists, the students, working with you, collaborating and putting this together? It, it fills my heart with joy to watch them be able to do something creative and they've all resonated so much Anita with this opportunity to create something and continue to amaze me. We've given them a, 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 a big toolbox that they can play with and they've grown into it really quickly and in a short space of a couple of months have come up with some amazing and really creative ideas. Website, one more time to get tickets. Okay, it is ASUGamage.com. Awesome, thank you. Back to you guys.